All right, picked up a uh, pack of brand new uh, small electrolytic capacitors. Uh, these guys are 4.7 UF at 450 volt. These are new, fresh, not old stock. Um, brand new, just received them today. And uh, before I leave the company feedback, I was going to test them and there's been a lot of talk to capacitors, electrolytics heat up and I say they don't heat up but they do burn in. The longer you use them or keep them on or run power to them, uh, the more they burn in, the less current they draw and the less resistance they pull. So I got one of these hooked up now. To the meter brand new cap never soldered never used not old stock but new and fresh to the Syncor cap meter and I'm gonna hold in the leakage value here and see how it started at 7 milliamps 2 milliamps and it's going down now to microamp 600 500 now this is a brand new capacitor never used and you can think a old capacitor 20 30 40 years old this dry it up how long it would take for it for the current to uh, stabilize and come down and settle down so again it's not actually heating up and burned in is not really the right term either but uh, maybe braked in but as these capacitors uh, this one brand new out the box still has it has juice put to it for a while before the current settles down now we had about a hundred microamps where we started out at about uh, seven amps I believe and it'll keep going down down probably get to 15 some will get to zero microamps but it takes time and this is what I mean by electrolytic capacitors need to be burned in or broke in or need time now if you leave them on and they stay charged this doesn't happen that's why some audio files stereo files and some of us into other high-end stuff like uh, uh, amateur radio CB radio leave old tube equipment on all the time because the capacitors break in and once it gets low on the microamps and settles down it'll stay that way so that's gonna be it of this quick video of uh, capacitor burning, breaking or warming up bye